This is what your favorite Sims for Tony says about you. <coughs> I am ill. Let's go. You are quite literally just as old as she is. You yearn for better times. The Sims 2 was the best game. Or so they say. Because you won't stop saying it. I don't care what you say and I don't care what justifications you have. You only like him because you want to woohoo him. And because no one in real life will do it. You're just trying to heal your inner child and I won't come after you for it. You're gonna have to go to therapy eventually. Oh, and your dad never loved you. You're just trying to coast through life. You're that really chill guy. And everybody knows you're a chill guy. Which is why they don't rely on you. Because you're unreliable. I would honestly just hate to be around. You. And no, you're not cute. You're just awful at saving money. You are just one stubborn motherfucker. You have your set beliefs and you're just gonna fucking stick to them, which is fine. It's just we're, we're all tired of hearing about it. We get it. Move on. You're just lying to yourself at this point. You don't even like her. You're just being contrarian. Daddy issues. You can't fix them. You just can't. You need to learn to work on yourself before you try to fix other people. And that's why you keep getting into situations like this. You're out here just trying to catch a lost childhood. And it shows because you're just a bummer to be around from the bottom bottom of my heart, I hope you get some healing. You're pushing 40. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with it, but you can stop tightlining your lower eyeliner. You have questioned your gender identity more times than I have questioned my life choices, and that's saying a lot. Oh, you are him. You think you know everything. You're such a critique. You are such a highbrow person, and you want to dress exactly like him, and you would actually slay. If only you weren't an insufferable prick. You want everything in the world, and you want everything done for you, but you don't want to work for it. And it doesn't matter how many times I have to tell you to get off your ass and actually do something, you're just never gonna do it. Stay delusional. You're probably gay. You justify literally every bad decision you have ever made and thoroughly believe you were constantly in the right. And no, you're not misunderstood. You just don't take accountability for anything you do. I know you have a pride flag in your room. You are just an angel. You have never gotten into trouble. You have never upset anybody. And you've never had a fun day in your life. You have a type. And that's fine. We all do. But did it have to be this? Let's be honest. You just want to be in the middle of these two. You love wine. You love drinking wine. It's the only thing you drink. You don't even believe wine drunk is a thing because you are constantly just drinking wine. Did anybody ever tell you about the wine? You are just a cut above the rest. Nobody plays this game the way you do. Your imagination is overactive and you are definitely on the spectrum. Mommy issues. Oh, you have made awful relationship choices in the past and you keep saying you've learned from them, but you keep falling back into these toxic cycles. It's not that you can't change. It's just that you don't want to. You do know that one day all those buried emotions that you have are gonna come right back up, right? Nobody fucking likes you. Oh, you were way past your prime, honey, and you don't actually care, and that's why I love you. You have no standards for anything in your life. You are overbearing. Please learn to just tone it down, dial it back, and learn to use your inside voice. You go around telling everybody about how sweet and innocent you are, and how you've done nothing bad in your life, and how you wouldn't dare to tell anybody secrets, but you're actually a bitch. Actually a bitch. Oh, you're actually a bitch, but in a good way. I don't know why you thought I'd give you a personality reading when the only thing you want to do with this man is woohoo with him. I would be absolutely terrified to look at any of your save files. You are unhinged, possibly demonic. No, you're actually like a cool person. I have nothing negative to say about you and would probably want to be your friend IRL. You saw the Lord of the Rings at a very young age and it immediately gave you lifelong depression because you are not a hobbit and do not live in the Shire. And you're possibly gay. Shut up, just shut up, just stop talking, just shut, just, just shut up, just shut up. Nobody enjoys life the way that you do, and I'm just forever jealous of you. Everything is just water under the bridge for you. You don't even try. You're just here to have a good time. You don't want much. You don't ask for much. And you don't say much, which is why we all forget about you. Oh, are you misunderstood? Does nobody really get you? No matter how much you try to fit in, it just never works out. I don't know, maybe develop social skills. This is a joke, I'm autistic and I have none. You are a grown adult, probably over the age of 25, but you only play as teenage sims because you did not have an exciting time in high school and were probably bullied, and you're trying to relive your prime years in The Sims. Why are you gay? Everything in your life that is unhealthy and or dangerous, you tend to romanticize. Now, do you want to tell me why that is? You're a lesbian. I can't tell you anything because you're just going to go and tell everybody else, and you say you're not nosy, and you say that you don't like drama, but you do. You've watched every episode of frenemies don't tell me you don't like drama you were the ugly friend in your friend group and it shows oh you're ambitious but not like in a realistic way in a delusional way so you can stop talking about the grind set when the only thing that you've been grinding is your teeth while you nap 12 hours a fucking day you are fiercely independent to the point that you push people out of your life because you are terrified of commitment and or attachment 
How's that therapy going? Okay, you're probably successful. You probably did amazing at school. You're probably very well read. But that doesn't make you a better person. So stop acting like you're above everybody else. Okay, get yourself together. Stop playing the victim. Stop trying to blame everybody and anything on your shortcomings and your mistakes. The world isn't against you. You just fucked up. Let's be honest. You just want to be in the middle of these two. There are other musicians than Taylor Swift. Your honest reaction after listening to somebody that isn't Taylor Swift. Your friends are sick and tired of you sending them pictures of very questionable looking people and or anthropomorphic creatures and then saying, hear me out. We're done hearing you out. Touch grass. You have never worked for anything in your life yet. Somehow everything keeps working out for you. That luck is going to run out and you are not ready to face that. You know, it's okay to not constantly have a crush on somebody. You you can love yourself, you know. Oh my god, you're so edgy. Like, oh my god, you're so cool. Like, I have never seen anybody wear all black before. Oh my god. You are just an impressionable young mind that has probably discovered the internet way sooner than they were supposed to. We must protect you at all costs. Let's be honest. You just want to be in the middle of these two. Stop going after broken men. It never works out for you. You'll make a conscious choice to be like this. You don't have to be like this. People like you for who you are. You can stop pretending to be somebody you're not. And also, for the love of God, deodorant. You are a straight male. I am begging you, just stop reading fan fiction. Go outside.